Today we'll be focusing on cultural heritage. Our cultural heritage is our inheritance, what we value in the present and what we choose to preserve for future generation. Culture is our way of life. Heritage is something that is passed down from one generation to another. Cultural heritage reflects and shapes values, beliefs, and aspiration, thereby defining a people's national identity. Cultural heritage is very important. Heritage is a keystone of our culture that plays an important role in our politics, society, business, and worldview. It informs, influences, and inspires public de de debates and policies, both directly and indirectly. Cultural heritage also helps to shape our identity because our heritage becomes a part of what we are, what we value and hold as important due to past experience of our ancestors. Our heritage provides us with clues to our past and our society as involved. It helps us to examine our history and tradition and enable us to develop an awareness about ourselves. It also helps us to understand and explain why we are here and the way we are here. In other words, cultural heritage includes cultures, customs, beliefs, rites, rituals, ceremonies, indigenous knowledge, social customs and tradition, arts, crafts, music, political and ideological beliefs that influence culture and behavior, history, practices concerning the natural environment, religious and scientific tradition, language, sports, food and drink, calendars, and also traditional clothing. In Jamaica, this is an example of Jamaican traditional clothes that is mostly worn on Jamaica Day. Traditional foods such as dokono, also known as blue jaws, which is made and tied in banana leaf. You have rondong, another traditional food, haki and saltfish, jerk chicken. Also, our language plays an important role in our cultural heritage. Our language is known locally as patwas and is called Jamaican Creole Bilinguistic. It is an English-based language creole from, originated from West Africa. Miss Louise Bennett Coverley, a Jamaican poet and folklore, takes a great pride in highlighting our Jamaican creole to the world. These are some other clothes that is passed down from generation to generation, and it is a part of our cultural heritage. This is a bandana, and this is Jamaican clothing. Our music is a part of our cultural heritage. Bob Marley have, have play, uh, played an important role in our cultural music. Dance is also a part of our cultural heritage. This is an example of ska dance, kumina, Dancehall is also a part of our cultural heritage. It was originated from the 1970s. So how, how, how do we preserve our cultural heritage? We can preserve our cultural heritage by sharing your cultural arts and technology. Each culture has its own clothing, music, visual arts, storytelling, tradition, and many more unique characteristics. Other members of your culture will be overly joyed to teach or talk about your hobbies, their jobs, their crafts, and what they do for fun. This includes traditional artwork you would find in the museum, but material culture goes far beyond that. Even in a kitchen, a spoon or a piece of software is a cultural artifact. People with less sophisticated technology 
are often considered ignorant or less intelligent. This is completely wrong. Culture passes on tools adapted to a particular environment and every tool has generation of thinking behind it. Shaping a stone tool is one of the oldest cultural practice there is and it is still taking a great skill and knowledge to shape it. How do you promote your cultural heritage? You can promote your cultural heritage by introducing your culture to those who don't know about it, talk about it, cook foods and play the music of your culture for others, give friends gifts from your culture, be an ambassador. People are often fascinated by different ways that people do share similar things. Start a conversation and help bring others into the fold of your cultural heritage.